Hello and welcome to your Ferro Alloy and Minor Metal Weekly Review. I'm Tom Butchic and this week I'm joined with Alexander Anderson to give a quick rundown about the global antimony prices. Alex. So, previously, what we have seen in the, I would say, two months, uh, we have seen a decline in price, not just in the previous two months, but uh, in the previous, I would say, six, uh, really. Um, However, looking at it uh, in the previous, well, for, from what we have seen in the previous weeks, um, Chinese producers did try and withhold material uh, between March and May to stop any further additional decreases in price. However, um, globally, with uh, just a lack of further downstream development, uh, a changing shift in uh, the way we uh, use plastics, and just in general, over availability um, has resulted in further price declines, as we're just not seeing any further need outside of you know long-term contracts for antimony. Everyone's capped out; they know how much they want, how much they need, and uh, as a result, uh, prices have uh, well fallen below seven thousand dollars per ton um, that we just saw uh, recently uh, since last week. Um, but that's just a brief overview of what we have been seeing. Alex, I mean, uh, how things, uh, well, what has, what has happened recently in the, in the past few weeks from your side? Well, in, uh, in the U.S. and European markets, I mean, uh, like you said, antimony has been pretty quiet, um, not, not really a whole lot of spot demand as most consumers have been covered through long-term contracts. Um, I mean, over the last couple of months in particular, outlooks have been pretty weak, but, um, you know, mainly because there's still a lot of material around, which is, you know, putting additional uh, pressure on pricing. Um, we're hearing a lot of lower offers. Pre so over the last couple of weeks, we were hearing rumors of, of lower offers, uh, but all of the sales that we had that were being concluded were at the low end of our ranges in the U.S. and Europe. So um, around, you know, 7100 7, per ton or $7,100 per, per ton. Um, but this week we confirmed sales at, at much lower levels and, and the range moved down as a result. You can see uh, on the graph there, it just sort of took a tumble. Um, mm. Prices right now are being seen more in the mid 6000 low 7000 per ton range. Um, and I mean, if the current situation continues as far as supply demand dynamics, uh, participants think that the market will just continue to soften further. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, uh, that remains to be seen. But right now, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of change in the near term. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've seen anything different as far as China goes. I know there were maybe going to be some developments there that, that uh, you were looking at, Tom. Yeah, I mean, uh, good, good points. I mean, uh, we just recently heard that uh, with the rapid decline in price over the past few weeks, um, we have seen, well, uh, the China Non-Ferrous Metals Industry Association uh, of Antimony uh, look to hold uh, an industry meeting with all major producers um, to reduce output in order to stop additional declines in, uh, in price. So they're, they're seeing that this, uh, this price decline could get even worse. And as a result, it seems like China is uh, finally going to take some action and uh, try and stop any further further decreases. Um, to what extent um, is the market still oversupplied and how this will have an effect moving forward is still a question to ask. We did see similar developments on the bismuth side uh, in, in, the, mm -hmm. in the last three, four months, where we know a large produ Chinese producer um, uh, just reneged on contracts just because prices were going too low and uh, too low and as a result I mean sure you can argue that prices should then go up but um, we still see even on the antimony side a lot of availability in the market that firstly needs to be filtered through so maybe you know if uh, these Chinese producers do actually cut back output uh, anytime soon the effect will probably be seen not in the first week or the first month, but maybe in the in an additional upcoming months. Um, mm -hmm. But that's, I mean, that's 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 the big news really. And you know, everyone's now trying to um, yeah, take a position really moving forward. You know, will there be any potential further declines because of just a, a large availability of the material, or will there be hopefully some some support now moving forward? Um, 
but yeah, that was that's pretty much it from from what we heard recently. Um, but I guess from from what you're hearing or seeing in the Alex uh, in in the market, Alex, um, are you seeing any further potential uh, for any decreases? I mean, wh- what are people saying generally moving forward? Uh, I think I think just mimicking exactly what you said. I mean, the fact that there's so much supply around um, anything that that happens as far as you know cutbacks or anything like that, um, there will will need to be uh, there, there, it'll be some time before that actually starts to show any sort of impacts on the market because there is such an oversupply right now, and uh, frankly, consumers just really aren't interested in buying a whole lot on the spot market. Um, so I think that you know it, it'll take a while for whatever uh, additional supply we do have already to be, like you said, sort of filtered through or, or you know, bought up um, before we really start to see any sort of recovery. So I think for now, we'll, we'll remain sort of stable to weak, depending on how the demand situation is. And then, um, I mean, as far as supply goes, we just sort of have to, um, you know, see how that progresses. But for, for now, I would expect prices to remain sort of around these levels, possibly a little bit weaker if, if demand doesn't show any sort of signs of, of recovery. Recovery, um, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll we'll see. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a valid valid point, and uh, no, thanks for the uh, for the great insight, Alex. Um, but no, um, thanks 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 very much for everyone for for tuning in, and uh, this is your daily, weekly, should I say, dose of uh, fair alloy and uh, minor metal uh, market updates. So please tune in next week, and uh, let's see uh, what other developments are happening in the market. Thanks very much.